In this video, I'm going to go through how to import a custom tool for milling. So the tool that I want to import is going to be this one here. And I've already gone and I've pre-downloaded the basic model. So I'll open up an instance of Mastercam and drag that tool in. And we can take a quick look at what it looks like. So here I can see the tool basically looks the same as what I saw on the web page from Sandvik. I have my body and then I have my insert already uh, preloaded in a revolve view essentially. So let's look at adding this to a tool path at Mastercam. So here I have a box that I'm going to simply just face around. So first I'm going to go and select my machine. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into my tool path. I'm going to chain around this box. And then under my tool page, I'm going to right click and I'm going to create tool. So in here, we want to pick the tool that's going to match our tool the best. Um, if we use a face mill, what's going to happen is that since there's a radius on this tool, it's going to want to cut always to the inside of that radius, not to the outside, which wouldn't be suitable for cutting on a shoulder, which is what this tool is capable of doing. So we're going to define it as is going to be a bull end mill, which is going to be the closest that we can find for this. So bull end mill, click next. And then in here, we want to import custom geometry from a file. I'm going to click on this button and then that's going to bring me to my downloads and I'm going to grab this tool that I grabbed from that Sandvik website. So once we click open, it's going to process using the tessellated model. And then we're going to see our tool come in. So we're going to come in with the correct cutting diameter. We're going to come in with the correct cutting length based off of the size of our insert. And then we can see that the tool looks just like it does on the website or on the file that we imported in here. So this being a rendered tool, this is what it's going to look like when it's backplotting or when you're verifying it. The Mastercam tool here, this is what's going to actually be used to calculate the tool path for Mastercam. So you can see it's a bit of a more simplistic tool that sits inside of your rendered imported tool. So the big thing here is that you want to make sure that your render tool and your Mastercam tool both are going to have essentially the same diameter and the same profile that match. And once you those two match, you're good to go. So I'll click finish here and then I can just click OK. And then here I'll see the tool when I go to back plot, the tool is going to come out face around. I can see the tool looks just like what it did on the website and I can click OK. So the important thing here is that this tool is capable of facing as well of cutting on the shoulder. So if I go and do a quick contour tool path here, and I'll say I'm gonna go down to a depth of one inch, and we'll add a couple of depth of cuts here. And we'll say, okay. The tool is gonna to come in, and we're gonna make sure that when we look at it from the side, the side of that insert is gonna be cutting right along that line. If we had defined that as a face mill, you'd actually be cutting to approximately this section right here, the inside of your radius, or the actual cutting diameter as defined in a face mill. So for these shoulder mills, the best tool to define it as is a bull end mill, because the inserts have a radius on them, and then you can use it for facing as well as side cutting. 